My name is Darren, and today I'm in Vancouver with Chef Kevin and Chef Danny at Sushi Bar Shu. They serve some of the finest edamai style sushi and a fantastic customer experience. They generously allowed me to join them for a full day and share their story. With over 30 years in combined culinary experience, get ready to watch these masters at work. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm from Korea. I've been in the food industry for 17 years. My name is Danny. I'm from Korea. I'm just working with Chef Kevin and then we created the menu. And then we're always thinking about the satisfied customer. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> when we're working in the kitchen, we look looks like not serious. We always try to smile in and then we always try to talking with customer. To be honest with you, I didn't really think that I'm going to become a sushi chef. But when I moved to Toronto as an international student, I didn't have any support from my family. So I had to work. So I started as a bus boy. And then I was good at cleaning. So my owner chef asked me if I want to work at a sushi bar. And then it it actually seems more interesting than being a boss boy, so I started, and then since I started, can can stop. Actually, I now really enjoy the Omakase Sushi restaurant because it's really at really good with customer because customer sit front of the me, and then we talking a lot, and then I really enjoy now. Omakase means leave it up to you. All things chef choice. Just interaction is more important to me. When I came here, I was middle of 20, and then I don't have that many chance to get make money. So actually, one of my friends he introduced to restaurant to working there, and then yeah, I just start because it was I need money for survivor in Canada, not not the beautiful. But that, that that's that's what I start. It's really hard when some customer coming and then they looks like not trust me and then really not easy to focus in my job. But always I'm try to my best and then some customer when they coming and they not trust me. But when they leaving they happy. Yeah, I'm really enjoy that. Before me. Like this type of sushi restaurant, like Omakase style sushi restaurant, is really attractive because I can use a seasonal ingredients and then I can interact with the customer and then I can introduce something like new to the customer, like they, something they never tried. And then also all the chef, even though like in you know, one same ingredient, depends on the who cook or who prepare, the taste is different. So I think that part is really interesting. Whenever I get a, uh, the question, what's the most important thing? I would say it's, everything is important. Every element is important. Like some people say, oh, maybe like making shari, which is sushi rice, is important. Yes, but with good sushi rice, with the bad, uh, bad quality of fish, it's not going to be good. So for me, it's all about our harmonization. I get fish from Toyo's market. So now there is no more Chikisa market because of the uh, 2020 Japanese, J Japanese Olympic. They got rid of it. And uh, they, also there is a Osaka fish market. So I get it from there. Fish, people say like eye and then texture. Yes, that's that's important and then like kill and then the firmness it, I think firmness is also very important yeah sushi rice I think it's about really about the um, climate like depends on what they so even though you wash the rice and then the, you pour the same water but if you don't understand the weather and the, where you live the water is soft water or hot water. If the water is hot water, you, you better have a, the, the water softener and stuff like that. So water is very important. And then 
the um, understanding about uh, uh, the weather, so humidity. So we depends on like rainy day and like whatsoever. We change the water ratio a little bit. The shariz, which is the, the vinegar, the, the rice vinegar. There is no certain like uh, recipe. It's like you customer cannot go to the restaurant. That this restaurant is too sweet because that's this chef's style. And then it's because this is a little bit salty. That restaurant doesn't mean it's wrong because that's their style. So it's more about understanding. Oh, this chef do this way. Other than, oh, the restaurant I like more because that's a uh, that's customer personal uh, preference. I think. I think all the chef has a great way of cooking their own way. So I don't. I can say that my way of cooking is special. But what I can offer them specially is interaction and then make them feel a little bit more comfortable.